What's up everybody, it's easy. We are doing another too easy road trip video inside Murder Inc. What an awesome clan. Over 400 wins, 419 wins and level 13. Just wanted to put that up there to show everyone just how good they are. Uh, a good example is our clan has like 250 wins and we're level 14 because we've lost several wars. They don't. <laughs> so we'll get right into it first day in the clan uh, they agreed to let me record some of their war attacks there's so many good attacks to choose from so I just picked a couple from the last couple wars um, don't know most of the guys yet so if I screw up your name I'm sorry because uh, I do that even after I know you <laughs> so first one sounds like looks like Kong Fi so I'm just gonna apologize in advance I'm sure that's not it <laughs> Uh, doing a minor attack seeing a lot more miners uh, I know in damage we're seeing a lot more minor attacks too because uh, max miners as long as you're doing the, the queen walk first and, and and really getting a good path for the miners to get into the base uh, without having to tackle the entire base at once and uh, just look at the funnel he gets got every single miner on that one storage and then uh, the, the very next thing they go to, they're already up inside the that compartment that has the um, that has the infernal tower. Takes out the infernal tower, like one shots the infernal tower with all those miners. Uh, now check out too. Also got the queen walk going on. This is a this is a pretty big. If you're not going to use multiple troops with the miners, then the queen walk is a really big part of this attack. And um, gets the queen walk right inside the the Tesla farm. Almost gets through the whole Tesla farm. That was a big pocket of defenses too there was four teslas there the crossbow uh i believe a bomb tower and an archer tower there and a cannon so they had everything there and just almost made it through it but see at this point now you have the healers on top of the warden my favorite thing we all know how much i love that <laughs> and the miners working their way around the outside and uh at this point right now it looks like they have like four defenses left and probably about 10 or 15 miners left and so now the miners are going to work their way around the outside and just plow into the into the in the town hall into that last compartment right there at the end and um, believe it or not it's hard to tell how many miners are left um, but by the looks of the tracks there's at least five or six there's already one inside the compartment two inside the compartment four or five this is uh at, this is a he blasts it so great attack this is number six versus number four um I'm gonna talk about a few things that I, that we were already talking about inside the clan because I think it's really relevant inside the game right now. We'll get to that a little bit later. Uh, but I want to show you the next attack. I believe the next attack we we jump down at Town Hall Nine. Uh, kind of an older attack. You don't see Valkyries inside the meta very often right now, even though you do in my clan because we use the flex. Um, anyone who doesn't know what the flex is, check out the channel. Uh, if you're not in the channel right now, it's Easy Street Gaming on YouTube. Uh, the attacks called the flex. I'm going to show you one at the end of this video too. Uh, that, that that features uh, Valkyries as well, so I'm mentioning it. So uh, again, starting off with the Queen Walk. Now you'll notice that I, I'm going to say 75% of these elite attacks are going to start off with some kind of walk, usually the Queen Walk, and they have such good timing on the Archer Queen. I've watched a bunch of attacks from their clan already. Pretty much every attack they did this war in the last two wars those are all the replays i could watch and it's really impressive um kind of kind of modest group uh, they you know they're talking about what they need to work on but meanwhile uh they just have these great great attacks so coming in at town hall nine um this is called a govaho <laughs> some of my favorite things govaho uh so anyway, got the Queen Walk, got a Golem coming in to tank, got Valkyries coming in. Gonna use the gonna use a jump spell to get the Valkyries into the core. Uh, once the Valkyries are in the, in the core, most of the time you're gonna see the the Rage and Heal combination. Uh, some some players will use just heals and keep the Valkyries alive that way. They have plenty of speed without the, without the Rage, and I've seen a lot of people leave the Rage out because if you use Rage and Valkyries, even though they plow through a, a, the core really quickly. They also get out in front of the tanks that way. So, 
and, and then of course the hog riders coming in at the end so then you want those heal spells just in case things don't go quite right with the valkyries and you have all the heals for the for the hog riders and uh if, if you see here the, the kill squad is still up that which is the bowlers uh archer queen is still at full health doesn't have the ability to up, but just so many troops this is another great example of plowing deep into the base with a kill squad and the miners you know if they never attacked with the miner i'm sorry with the with the hog riders they probably would have still three starred so you know you've got it going on with an attack if your main troops uh don't even have to be deployed to get it so great attack that was by, that's by the, the the leader uh terminate he's the one who invited me I say he, I don't know if, if, who everyone is, and I don't know if they're he's and she's yet, so I'm sorry if I screw that up. Uh, invited me into the clan, I really appreciate that. This is their number one, Chorn, I guess. I suck at, you know, I suck for this. <laughs> How many times have I made a video and not known any names? Too many. Uh, anyway, coming in with uh, the boner. <laughs> I love the names in Clash of Clans. Um, you, between the the Goho and the Boner, I don't know. <laughs> Coming in with the Boner, uh, another combination that we saw. We this was a this was pretty high up in the meta, probably about a year ago, when the miners were just so powerful and the, the bowlers were starting to make that climb towards the top. Which at this point, I think you know the bowlers and the witch with the bitch slap. They've got to be the number one attack right now. I know Laloon is pretty high up in that standard too, but uh, anyway seeing a lot more miners uh, miners are have always been effective they're not that overpowering troop like they used to be but with the right tactics they are now back in, they are just a, another great viable option uh, especially when used by the right player and and uh, you know i've said this a million times that you can have the greatest attack but if they're if it's technical the wrong player can get a hold of it and just and just wreck it but you get these strong troops like the miners. The, I mean, this is a Town Hall 10 troop. You get these, and, and then the bowlers, both Town Hall 10 troops. You get these uh, these high-end troops in the right player's hands, and you'll see exactly what happens. It's de absolutely devastating. So, pops the Warden's ability. Gets into the core. At this point, kind of a dangerous affair. Got both Infernal Towers going on at one time. Freezes the back in Infernal Tower. But... About ready to use the Rage spell in the core, I'm sure. Uh, to, get, to get those bowlers to push through Town Hall. And now at this point, you, you see how we're just folding in on all sides of the base. Uh, you still have you still have giants up and uh, and healers on the giants. Happened to catch a double giant bomb right in the chin with a couple bowlers, but you know still survived it too. Uh, so you still have giants up. They're tanking for everything behind it, and you have the you have the heroes coming in. Haven't used the warden. I mean, haven't used the archer queens or the barbarian king's ability yet. So no mistaking where this one's going. <laughs> Another great attack. I'm telling you, these guys have all of the elite attacks down. And uh, so that, that brings me to uh, one of the points I wanted to make. Talking with Terminator, or Terminate, about Town Hall 10 play. And uh, was mentioning how difficult it is in Town Hall 10. And how their clan has to work on their Town Hall 10 attacks. Their Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 11 attacks are great, but the Town Hall 10 attacks are... are substandard in their opinion and um, that's all the way across the board uh, I haven't been in a clan yet and you know anyone who's followed the channel knows I've been in a bunch th that are just psyched about Town Hall 10. Town Hall 10 has always been a really difficult uh, Town Hall to play in uh, it, which is odd because you get to Town Hall 10 first and as most players with experience in the game they're getting to Town Hall 10 as a point five, so they're 9.5 and they flourish. I mean, it's just an awesome experience getting to, with these all these max troops, and you start to get, use some of the elite attacks. Then you max out, and you get the infernal towers, and you're having to deal with max town hall tens. And town hall ten versus town hall ten is a difficult matchup for anybody, all clans. Now you do have elite attackers that manage town hall ten attacks just fine, but with the exception of the elite attackers and they are in the one percentile uh, most players are not in that one percentile <laughs> uh, so it's just one of those things that um, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the game necessarily and having a challenge within the game is not there's nothing wrong with that but there's but Town Hall 10 is definitely the probably the most difficult Town Hall to, to get regular success in and it's, this is just another confirmation of that, having these guys who have so many good attacks, 
um, struggling Town Hall 10, if you want to call it that. They weren't three star, and they were getting, you know, I think uh, the one of the attacks that I saw that was a total fail in his opinion was 99% and almost that almost had the 100% if he had one more second. But that's just the mentality of a, of an elite player is that um, a 99.9% .9 is a fail. <laughs> so wow, but still I get it. So I talked my way all the way through that one. That was Stephen King. Uh, could be the author or could be this excellent attacker that just smoked this Town Hall 10 base. Uh, a little dip attack, you're gonna see a lot of that. Uh, and every clan does it. I love, you know, every video that I have, uh, any, a, war cap, a war recap video, there's going to be a dip attack in it. I do it every time. And reason is, is because most clans don't have uh, their top end is chock full of Town Hall 11s with the, with the Eagle Artilleries. Most of them are 10.5s. Uh, I know this because every clan that we fight is the same is the same way. They may have one or two Town Hall 11s. Well, it, and, and I say that, because, but that's a credit to uh, Supercell and the matchups that they're doing right now. Uh, we are getting a lot more clans that look just like us. Uh, and I say we, uh, I know I'm in... I'm in uh, this clan now. Sorry, guys, but uh, and it's no no different here too. If you look at the if you look at the last four or five attacks in Town Hall 11, they're all 10.5s. None of them had the Eagle Artillery. That's this is universal across the board. Um, you just get the, so anyway. That my point is that you're going to see a lot of these Town Hall 11s attacking these giant. They're all Town Hall 11s, but they don't have the Eagle Artillery. So that they are dip attacks, but not really because this every clan has to do it now because every, every clan has set if you have Town Hall 11s You're gonna have mostly Town Hall 10 fives for now Until this Town Hall thir town, town Hall 12 then they will fix it <laughs> So uh, this is the Bola Loon uh, Arguably the best attack in Clash of course. There's the slap and uh, in the in it has its place just use a clone I know it's hard to see that but he cloned the the lava hound and I think the lava hound literally lives the rest of this attack and Heading into the last little group now. I we can't count it, but he's probably got five or six balloons uh, First lava hound just popped and this is a death trap. There's a there's a, uh, Let's count real quick. We have uh the expo that just went down, we have four Teslas that just went down, we have a wizard tower that just went down, we had two archer towers and a bomb tower and the cannon, and I don't think he lost the first balloon. How the hell did he do that? I would They would have dropped every one of those balloons and somehow ate up every last troop I had on the board if that was me attacking. <laughs> so, great attack. That's the second, second replay from Chorn. He, he's the number one player, and I know this is a new clan for me to be in, and I'm showing two from one player. But that was just because that's how good that damn attack was. Those, these are some great attacks, guys. All right, so wanted to show the guys in the clan one of my favorite attacks, which is the flex. So I, I requested bowlers. They gave them to me, and I, I went out and found this base. I think this is the first or second base I ran into. So I wasn't exactly looking for you know hunting down for one of those you know million in resource uh, type of attacks. But I did uh, manage to find something decent, and uh, the the flex has two walks. It has a queen walk and it has a bowler walk. And one of the weaknesses of this attack is if they have the air defenses in that sweet spot, where their archer queen and the bowlers can't reach the air defenses yet, they can reach the healers. And if you've noticed, this is a is an anti air base because the uh, all the air defenses are in the core, which means that the healers have no. Uh, the, the, they're not going to be able to shoot the heal, healers down. So this is the perfect attack for the flex. So push into the base. Uh, get the get the queen walk going around the top side. Get the bowler walk going around the bottom side. Actually, the healers are following the bowlers through the back side. Uh, the kill squad comprised of eight giants, eight Valkyries, eight wizards. That they all got pushed in the core. Uh, the king was in there with them. The king already died. Put a heal spell on, those, on that left side there to try to save the last few Valkyries. They're going to kind of clear out the rest of the, the rest of that stuff inside. And as they're working their way through the, the basically we've gutted this base and now at this point you just you just were gonna rely on the walks this is a very common um, ending to the flex uh, and you know you can think what you want because it's a mass attack and I, I mention this every time I mention these types of attacks uh, the benefit for the mass attack is that I could have laid all these troops down and then run and you know you're just concentrating on the spells, and the spells are important. I'm not, don't don't underestimate the uh, 
the importance of spell placement and the importance of using your abilities at the right time but there's a lot less that can go wrong and uh, that was actually part of the conversation that we were having uh, with Terminate was in Town Hall 10 most of the elite attacks that you have in Town Hall 10 are these really complex attacks that you have to have perfect timing and if you're not perfect with it then uh, then it's a fail uh, you have all the weapons to, to, to win you have all these great weapons in Town Hall 10 but because all the weapons you have are like the balloons that are kind of squishy or like the bowlers that a double or triple giant bomb will wipe them out uh, you have to be really careful on how you uh, exactly how you deploy everything and even good players make mistakes uh, and then you add some pressure like uh, the wars won or lost by your attack and all of a sudden crazy things happen pressure uh, there's an old saying that uh, pressure bursts the pipes that's what they used to tell me when I was playing pool and they wanted me to suck <laughs> uh, but it's true uh, the more pressure you have on you cra crazy things start happening you end up having the warden shooting at a wall at the end of an attack or the Archer Queen running on the uh, running around the backside of a wall when she has a hole right in front of her, or uh, shooting a uh, uh, <laughs> shooting out a builder's hut when the healers are getting pummeled by the by a dragon. Just to mention a few. <laughs> and if this was a war attack, I would have probably chucked the phone if I was playing on a phone, which I wasn't. But would have chucked my phone across the room because I damn hit that builder's hut and it didn't go down. So I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, I enjoyed making it. Come visit the website, guys. www.clashmadeeasy.com Huge uh, Clash of Clans guide. Got everything there. Got all the updates. Got all the troops. Got all the defenses. Working on all the builder base stuff right now. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody. Yeah.